All right, we're at step three, um, kind of finishing touches of the body. And we have spent quite a bit of time between two and three just stripping and rolling the coat. And I've got this side looking pretty good. What you're gonna be looking for to know when to say when is that this coat's laying down, okay? And it's nice and tight. The comb is a good place to start, um, but let's tighten up and take a look with um, our palm glove. You know, we want to, I use the palm glove to like just mold that coat down to kind of see what's popping out. All right, sometimes I will go backwards against the green, but if a terrier person saw me do it, they'd have a, a heart attack. You know, and, and that just comes from scissoring breeds, you know, and clipping breeds forever. This will pop out, you know, some of the major oopses or hairs that you might have missed. But ultimately, this hair is going to lay down, so you don't want to retrain it to stand up. And that's where this, the palm brush comes in handy, is it just, you can gently lay that coat down, okay? And anything that's not staying down needs to come off. And where you'll see most of the hair at this point, it's his underline. He still has a few hairs. Make sure that you get that tuck up clean. Okay. But from a distance, I hope that he is looking, other than his legs, which we haven't done yet, looking like a smooth coated dachshund. Stand up, baby. Let's see what we got. We got a few hairs under here. We can take those out. And just kind of keep that skin as tight as you can. Going always with the grain. Little bites at a time, not too deep. And just clean up the last of those fuzzies. Okay. So if you can picture a smooth coated dachshund when you're done, that is exactly where you need to be on the third time around. Thanks.